you can start now yeah okay i just started with the definition of what is app exchange so app exchange is basically the marketplace uh, to buy uh, um, apps components bold solution lightning data flow solutions consultants and collectively these all solutions span just about every industry department and line of business so uh, to um, to make our own solution publicly available to potential customer first uh, uh, you must be a salesforce partner so then only you can sell in this um, uh, app exchange uh, then uh, like what uh, we have in app um, uh, this uh, solutions like the app exchange solutions are the fast and easy way to extend course uh, salesforce functionality uh, there is something for every business challenges like for apps uh, we have complete and specialized applications we get there and uh, components uh, example is like building blogs used to add functionality to pages apps and bold solution and bold solutions uh, like industry solutions paid with the partner services then lightning data third party data to enrich your uh, crm data and flow solutions are like two types flow action and flow templates flow actions are uh, standalone elements that add functionality to the process flows and flow templates pre built end to end configurable business process tailored to match specific industry use cases then consultants experts who possess deep industry knowledge and proven uh, salesforce skills so in marketplace we also get consultants who are expert expert in the salesforce skills and uh, uh, then we move on to um, uh, next topic which is how app exchange works the creative power behind each app exchange solution is a salesforce partner um as i said earlier for marketplace uh, uh, to be a salesforce partner is a um, like must uh, thing and app exchange gives partner a place to create and publish uh, uh, publish extensions to salesforce app exchange is also the place for salesforce admin to choose and install solutions that fit their organization need uh, here is how app exchange work so uh, we have uh, three things here create publish and install so how it is created a salesforce partner initiates the process by creating an innovate innovation that can improve a business process such as a custom object a custom tab or a component the partner share their customization with other salesforce users as a package app exchange solution whether an app or a bold solution a functional a flow solution lightning data or a component uh then uh, publish the salesforce partner register packages and publish their solution on app exchange they can also create a demo of the functionality include in their solution for the others to view before installing and included trial version so after publishing then we have installation salesforce customers browse solutions uh, published on app exchange and choose their solution to install in their organization installing a uh, published app exchange solution is safe and simple customers can browse uh, view their description review and demo of solutions on app exchange they choose the solutions that fit their need and uh, there is something called test drive review uh, uh, which is nothing but review of fully functional demo of the solution as a read only user and plan their implementation uh, with their admins then finally installation add the solution and all its components to their salesforce environment environment and uh, deploy immediately uh, give their users access to solution and customize it uh, for a select group of users so uh, basically when we go to the app exchange uh, we uh, we have uh, uh, so many apps right when we uh, click on uh, um, the app which we want we can uh, you know see all this uh, trial version of it we 
uh, we have all the information uh, relating to that app, how it works, how to in each step they will mention very clearly, like how we can install that app and what are the prerequisites to install that app and uh, how it functions and all. So uh, everything will be there. Then uh, the next is uh, who can use App Exchange? Anyone can browse and test drive App Exchange listings. Salesforce admins and users uh, with the download App Exchange packages permission can install App Exchange apps. To publish a listing on, on App Exchange, a user needs both create App Exchange packages and upload App Exchange packages permission. Before installing a package, before you begin, review the App Exchange solution and determine how they fit into your current implementation of Salesforce. Taking a test drive. A test drive is a new fully functional developer additional Salesforce environment, environment that contains the solution. Go to App Exchange and find a solution and click test drive and to try out the solution before you install it. Verifying requirements. Every solution has its own requirement. To verify that a solution is compatible with your Salesforce org, review the requirements section of the solutions overview tab. Determining if the solution supports upgrades. To determine a solution, choose a managed package solution first. Unman unmanaged package aren't upgradable. So we'll, uh, I will be uh, telling the difference in this next slide. Uh, now we come to the type of packages. So basically there are two types of packages, managed and unmanaged packages. App Exchange solutions are installed in your org in packages, which are containers of apps. So packages, nothing but the containers of apps, tabs, and objects. Packages come in two flavors, managed and unmanaged. The solution provider decides which package type to use to distribute the solution which in turn influences how the solution behaves in your org. Let's review the most important difference between the package types. So we here we have the attributes and the uh, type of packages. The first attribute is customization. So when we come to manage packages, you cannot view or change the solution code uh, or the metadata. So we cannot customize the managed packages. We cannot change the solution code uh, and the metadata. Whereas the unmanaged packages, you can customize the code and the, and, and the metadata as well and uh, if we want to. So this is a managed package we cannot customize and unmanaged we can customize. The second attribute is upgrades. The provider can automatically upgrade the solution. Uh, to receive an, uh, uh, when we come to unmanaged packages, to receive an upgrade, you must uninstall the package from your org and then reinstall the new version uh, from the app exchange. So basically it says um, managed package, uh, we can upgrade, but unmanaged package is not uh, automatically uh, upgraded. So this is the difference. Then uh, the third attribute is org limits. Uh, managed packages, the contents of the package don't count against the app, tab, and object limits in your org. Whereas the unmanaged package, the contents of packages count against the app, tab, and objects. Uh, I, I did not, I, I don't have clarity with regard to this org limits. Uh, uh, sir, can you explain the third one? Yeah, madam. Uh, so, for example, madam, so in the interview, they will ask the main question is, what is the difference between managed package and unmanaged package? Madam? So, this is the question sometimes they will ask in the interview. Okay, madam. So, as you shared in the screenshot, right? So, managed package means once we install that package, madam, so we cannot do, we cannot see that code actually. What they have written code, which component they have written, right? We cannot see that code actually in the managed package. Everyone is following what I'm saying. Whatever the web pages, what component, everything we cannot see. Okay, it will be in the hidden, in the background. When it comes to unmanaged package, madam. Okay, so 
once we install the package we can see the code and even we can extend the code even if you want to extend that uh, functionality we can extend the code code always following what i'm saying what is imagine uh, what is imagine yes sir so managed package we cannot do anything with that the what about the code they are providing okay in so unmanaged package we will install the package after that we can see their code even if you want to extend that code functionality you can extend it okay sir so managed package who provided that package na that people only can add a new features even if you want to add any new features right that people for example if you take a sales for cpq sir sales for cpq right that is a managed package that is providing by whom sales was company in case if they want to add new features in that package that tool who can add sir who can add that new features new functionalities in that uh, managed package yes. sales for sales will add correct sir so when it comes to unmanaged package so what we can do is uh, we can extend the functionality even if you want to upgrade unmanaged package what you can do you can uninstall and install like one second so that you can see the latest changes in the okay it comes to organization limits sir we have our limitations right when you go to the object how many workflows you can create right for example the governor limits here yes madam a governor limits per object you can create 800 fields right so we can get some uh, workflows limitations right so all the limitations will be considered and not considered in this packages based on the oh. packages so so in manage package the uh, limits are uh, not called limits doesn't not considered correct ma'am not considered in manage package the org limits are considered considered exactly oh okay okay yeah, yeah. so this is the yeah the so, main thing so simple yeah. a simple definition for apex ng is like a play store in our mobile we can install applications we can use it that's it same way uh, salesforce uh, apex ng also just we can install whichever application you want you can pay some applications are free some applications are paid applications in the apex ng okay so then you can install it and uh, we can use that application based on the requirement so no need to go see for example you have a requirement you want to build some uh, like a uh, like a hospital application okay so why you want to build again from scratch already one of salesforce partner already is developed one package like a hospital application they uploaded that package in a where madam apex inch okay so again why you want to build everything right you can if you are okay with that package how uh, they are developed then you can install that one and you can use it otherwise if you want to build again from scratch to n it will take time you need developers right and uh, testing all everything it will take time So no need to do all those things. Already, whatever the package is there in the marketplace, you can use it in case if you want. Uh, go ahead, man. Yeah, that's it. And uh, like according to our needs, uh, the last slide says according to our needs, we have to choose between the managed and the unmanaged packages. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So you should install it without worrying how it affects your orgs, ads, tabs, and other limits. and uh, so how you want it basically depends on the need of our org correct that's it yes good madam yeah that's it yes. thank you thank you madam